Hello and welcome everyone to today's video. Now there was a lot of questions which I was getting lately for how to use a pack and go feature or some similar alternatives here inside Simmons NX. Now first of all I like to like if you are not aware about pack and go and that particular kind of features it was first introduced by Dassault system in the software named SolidWorks. Now basically what that particular feature will allow you to do is for example if you are making an assembly and we all know Whenever we create a design like this, there are a lot of components uh, which are, you know, uh, a part of library, you can say there are a lot of drawings, there are a lot of components which we build and they are all scattered in all different locations. Then what we need to do is if I want to share that assembly file to someone, I need to gather all the components manually. I need to pick every component manually, place it all together and then share it. Okay. And sometime that even eventually breaks the link. Okay. With the actual part. So what we need to do is in, in order to maintain that link in, in order to maintain that integrity, this particular assembly now has like more than 2000 component. I just simply don't want to go ahead and use, you know, or save 2000 different components in a different directory, in a different folder, search for all the components. And later on, if suppose if I missed a single component, the entire assembly will not work like the way it's supposed to. So to reduce that kind of, you know, failures to reduce those kind of, uh, you know, mishaps, there is a feature introduced by the Solve system SolidWorks that was initially called as pack and go. Okay. And currently it is also called as pack and go pack and go features allows the user to take that assembly and create a copy of or a clone of that assembly in a new location. So technically it is not doing anything to the existing assembly. It is creating a clone. Okay of an same assembly in a new different location. So what we are going to do now is I have opened two of these assembly. Now this assembly has a lot of components here. Okay. Uh, so we are not going to see over this assembly particularly, but yeah, I'm going to show it over this assembly and technically for using this feature, you don't even need to open any assembly here in NX. Okay. So I'm just closing all out. Now what we can do here with this particular feature is we can gather all the components. Okay. Of that particular assembly and then take it out into a different location. So what we can do is we can go to menu here on the left corner. You can see menu, then we can go to assemblies and then we have an option called cloning. Now here we have an option of create and clone assembly. So basically what is going to do is there is an assembly which you already made. Okay. That is an assembly which you already made. So what we are going to do now is we are going to create a clone of that assembly into a new folder. So we're going to take all the parts, all the components of that particular assembly into a new folder. So that is how it's going to be. Okay. So what we are going to do, I'm going to click on this particular option called create a clone assembly. And here there will be an option called add an assembly. So here I'm going to click on add assembly and then I'm going to select the assembly, which I want to clone. So for example, in this case, this is the assembly, which I'm going to clone. So I'm going to click on this particular assembly. Now this assembly can contain, you know, multiple parts, multiple things. So here you can also add a part if you want to, okay, clone to a different location. So I know this assembly contain all this different parts. Okay. So if you want, you can add all the parts together. Okay. Or you can add a part one by one. If you want to typically add some parts. So here I'm adding just an assembly. Okay. And here in load option, I'm going to click on as saved. So technically it is going to search for the parts which are going to be saved, uh, like the way it was. Okay. So as saved here in naming, I'm going to define a naming rule that I want to add a prefix called one, two, three before the name of each file. So that is how I have defined and I'm going to save everything on the desktop in this new folder. So this is the point where I define the output directory. So once I define all these things correctly, I can try a dry run over here. You have this option called dry run. If you click on execute, it will actually tell you what exactly it's going to happen. So technically it's going to read this particular part and make a clone over here with the name one, two, three as a prefix. And one is the name of the part. So one, two, three, one, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, three, one, two, three, four. So I'm not liking this name. So I'm going to go for the naming option, defining a new naming rule. I'll just write CC 360. So that will be the new prefix. Okay. I also want to add an underscore after that. So I'll add the underscore and now again, I'll try a dry run. Now here you can see the new name of this particular file is going to be CC 360 underscore one underscore two. And this is the location where I'm going to save my part. Now, once everything is working properly, everything is defined properly. You can just simply click on without dry run execute. Now, once you click on execute, it will do that process for you. And now if I go and check my folder here, okay, you can see all the parts and assembly present over here. So now you can share this particular file with anyone you want to. Okay. And technically they will receive an exact clone of the assembly, which you're working on. So it is like a very good thing in a way. It has a lot of limitations. I know it is not as good as a feature. Okay. For now, but 
as of now this is a very good alternative which is present natively inside nx okay which works very fine okay for creating a clone assembly or you know creating a back and go feature so i hope you find this particular video useful okay and if you do like this kind of video please uh, support the channel by liking this video and comment down below what kind of videos you want to look uh, you are looking forward for okay and also uh, you know there is a lot of efforts which is taken to you know build this kind of videos so your support will be really grateful so thank you very much for watching have a great day ahead